I recently got a call from a customer here in southwestern Connecticut complaining about this uh, our very large nest. She said uh, you couldn't miss it. I couldn't believe it. You couldn't. It was a ball-faced hornet nest, of course, and uh, it was huge. Uh, it was like the size of a basketball. And uh, being mid-August, there were literally hundreds of wasps uh, in this nest and, of course, outside foraging for food. Uh, here I got a good close-up of the entrance of the nest. There are ball-faced hornets coming and going. It's um, the air traffic here is quite busy, and uh, these wasps are continuously hunting for food. Uh, any kind of insect that they get an overpower, which is most, uh, they will actually go out and kill, attack them, chew them apart, and uh, feed these uh, their larvae, which is their younger sisters essentially. Uh, this time of the year, we have multiple queens in the nest. Again, the populations could be in the hundreds. Here we have uh, a wasp doing some housekeeping duty. And here I am undoing all that beautiful work um, using a product called Suspend. I'm actually putting the uh, spring inside the nest first, knocking down as many as I can inside the nest. And as the uh, wasps are returning with the day's catch, I'm spraying them down. If you come here for a closer look, you'll see that despite the fact that I sprayed this nest, in fact, there are some dead wasps clinging to it. Uh, these wasps will actually go in that treated zone uh, because their instinct to survive and to uh, take care of their offspring or their younger sisters, actually, uh, is so great that they will uh, do whatever it takes to defend the nest and to protect the young. And here I've exposed uh, some of the inner parts of the nest where you can actually see these combs where uh, eggs have been laid and have developed into larvae. Eventually pupating, which you can see by that weight white casing on the outside of the bone. And uh, finally, it's time to take the nest down. You can see that the returning wasps are just absolutely fierce. Uh, despite having a wasp suit on and the improper gloves, I did get stung uh, one time, but I got back at them and eventually destroyed the nest. Uh, finishing the job, I uh, completely uh, removed the nest eventually. It was just uh, reduced to a bunch of broken down paper mache. And here you see the larva of these ball-faced hornets uh, strewn about the ground. Mice, the little chipmunks, will get a little bonanza that night. Um, this is the, uh, the vestiges of the nest, basically uh, a paper mache facade. I don't recommend that any homeowner attack these wasps. Call the pros in on this one. They're very aggressive and getting swarmed by several hundred, several hundred of them uh, can result in a visit to the hospital. So call the pros on this one, folks, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.